Hi everybody, this is Monica Barnes from Monica Barnes Art. I am uh, using pigments from the color Cottage. And I have a 12 by 12 board that I did not prep. No preparation whatsoever, I just put the canvas down. Actually it is a canvas, not a board. And I'm using purple, pink, teal, copper penny, and yellow on this board just to see how the colors pop. Okay, so right now I have all my colors together and I'm just going to do a bullseye pour. Some people call it a puddle pour, some people call it a bullseye pour, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to pour each color into each color and see what I end up with. This is fun. It's easy. It's simple. No artistic ability whatsoever. It's just fun. Okay, so I am just um, using all my colors and I will continue to add each color into each other color until all my pigment is gone from the cups. This color, um, Copper Penny, is really glittery. I absolutely, uh, I'm in love with it. It is so beautiful. When I'm finished, um, hopefully it looks as pretty as it does right now I don't know how it's gonna look with all those other colors mixed in with it but when I'm done I'll show a close-up so you guys can understand what I'm talking about I'm going to heat the resin up a little bit to pop all those bubbles and help it move around um, because when it's hot, when the resin warms up, it it moves easier across your board. And that's what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer. It is so pretty. And just a little bit more blue around the border. I think I don't have much color left in my cups. So whatever I have left. I'm going to heat that up also so it moves, helps it move around a little bit more. I wish I could leave it right there. I like that. Look at that glitter. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I can see it on the camera that it is, really is glistening. I do use some of the paint that fell off the board to do the sides. Why not? I'm not going to waste it. And if there's a lot that fell off the sides, I'll actually make coasters with it. I know you can hear my dog panting in the background it's really hot today it's like 90 degrees um it's only about 72 in my garage right now but I guess for him he's still hot so unfortunately you can hear him panting in the background but I am adding some blue and I definitely want to add a little bit more of whatever color I have left just to brighten it up a little bit better Okay, so I do have a little bit more color in my cups. Then I'm going to scrape out and put it onto my canvas just because the colors ran into each other just a little bit too much. So it's kind of muted. I think by adding the colors on top, it'll give it a little pop. Uh, the yellow, I think, will make it real bright. Yeah, I like that. I wish I had a bunch of copper penny mixed up, but I only have a little bit. I'll put that on and see if I can get a little bit more shimmer into this, although it has a lot already. I'm 
whatever I got in that cup I'm going to use. Now I am torching it just to get the bubbles out and to heat it up a little bit. I don't want to move it around too much because I don't want the colors mixing together as much as they were mixed together. So I'm just going to use my heat gun, push them a little bit further out and see what I come up with. And that's about it. Okay, so here's the finished piece. Um, I'm pretty happy with these colors. That copper penny is popping. The other colors are very bright. They're pretty solid. Um, I'm loving it. Yeah, I love the sparkle. Sparkle and me, we get along real good. I'm happy. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out on a blank canvas. No preparation whatsoever. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave me your comments. I really appreciate comments. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Everything I used in this video and a whole lot more I will put underneath my description. So if you need to go shopping, any supplies you need, they will be listed below. So you can do the same thing I just did. Thanks for watching, everybody.